Hello everyone, I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Monday. Today I'm coming to the weekly Minx Monday Q&A. Before we get started, let me share the bag that I'm currently rocking, and that is the Chanel reissue in the 226. Uh, all right, so grab a coffee, grab a tea, let's start your workouts, good work, let's do laundry, whatever's that you're doing, come join me. We have some awesome topics to cover today. Starting with the first question from Kira Daniels. What do you think about the new Louis Vuitton jungle line? Do you think it'll be popular? Would you get anything? Um, all right, so before we get any further, let me insert a couple pictures of the newest line from Louis Vuitton, which is the Monogram Jungle Collection. As you can see, there's a variety of different items to choose from, from handbags to small leather goods to shoes to bandeaus, scarves. And normally, I'm not the biggest fan of busy prints. That's not something that I end up gravitating towards, but there is definitely something about this collection for sure. I love the colors that they chose. I feel that they work incredibly well together. And I like the fact that it's an interpretation of animal print. I like the fact that it's an interpretation of monogram. You know, So I think that this is a beautiful collection, whether you go for the small of the goods or for the handbags or any other pieces that are available. And uh, do I think it'll be popular? Absolutely. No doubt in my mind. There was a ton of buzz about this collection even before it launched. So when it finally did, there were so many people that were able to get quite a few pieces from this collection. And even if you go online, most of them are call for availability or even if you call the boutiques, they've been sold out. So uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It'll be crazy, crazy popular. Now, as far as getting anything myself, normally I do prefer the these busy prints on something smaller, uh, but there is something about that on the go tote or the Neverfull that, uh, like I said before, definitely ends up working out. Uh, but out of everything that is available in this collection, there is one thing that speaks to me more than anything else, and that is the bandolier strap. Uh, because that bandolier strap, you have uh, the black with the smaller animal print on top. Actually, let me insert a picture really quickly. It's a beautiful strap, right? And I just picture it with like the Givenchy Antigona or with the Celine Nano luggage toe and it'll just give it a completely different look and you're mixing and matching fashion houses. So I'm a big, big fan of the uh, of the bandolier strap. But I would like to know, did any of you guys get anything from the Jungle Collection? If you did, let us know in the comment section down below or are you not a fan of it? Are you a fan? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comment section down below. But fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it. Next question from Closet Hunter. With Chanel price increases, do you see yourself still purchasing from the brand? And do you get a little nervous with wearing your items? For instance, do salespeople or regular people look or treat you differently because of your purse? Um, okay, so as far as price increases and if I still see myself purchasing from the brand, to be completely honest with you, I don't know. All right, I have no idea because the prices are getting hairy. You know what I mean? The handbags are getting smaller. The price points are getting higher and higher. And uh, I don't see myself adding any more minis to my collection. And I don't really see myself going for any, uh, any other classics such as a medium large or a jumbo or anything like that. So I have already started to kind of uh, take a step back from them, uh, but only time will tell, you know? And I always say never say never because I have learned my lesson when it comes to that. So I don't necessarily want to go out there and say absolutely not. And then, you know, two weeks later I have another bag or something, you know, similar. Um, so I don't know, but the boutique is definitely one of my happy places. There's just something about either the environment or the lighting. I have no idea, but, uh, I get very giddy, like stupid happy when I am in those boutiques. So, um, I feel that a lot of the items are extremely tempting. Uh, now I also made a promise to myself again, never say never. And that is to not purchase any more small leather goods from the fashion house especially because, uh, especially after the last two that I just got, the only thing that will, you know, that will make me go into possibly buying another small other good is if Chanel came out with a collection full of sequins or full of crystal and it didn't have like a $10,000 price point, then I would end up adding another small other good. But for the most part, I just kind of want to pump the brakes. I want to pump the brakes because as many of you know, I am a creature of habit. And if something works out for me, I have a tendency to buy it over and over again in different colors or different textures. So I just said, you know what? No more, <laughs> no more. We'll see how long I'll stick to that, you know? But uh, I have already 
distance myself from their fashion jewelry just because it really wasn't something that ended up working out the way that I had hoped. And even their footwear, I have seen so many different pairs of shoes that I really like, but nothing enough to want to go out there and uh, you know want to purchase them. So I don't know. It seems like, right? It seems like I'm kind of going back this way maybe, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'd be lying if I said yes, and I'd be lying if I said no because I still, sometimes I sway, you know? But uh, as far as feeling nervous of using my handbags, I am not nervous using any of my uh, Chanel handbags or any other brand for that matter. And being treated differently with salespeople and normal people, I don't think so. I don't think I have been treated differently because of the handbag that I am wearing. If anything, I have had uh, quite a few pretty woman moments because of the clothing that I'm wearing, not the handbag that I am rocking. You know, and that clothing being extremely casual. You guys know that. Um, I don't dress to the nines when I go luxury shopping. I don't dress a certain way whenever I go into these boutiques. So I have noticed uh, some looks. I have, um, you know, you know when you get that feeling or when you see someone looking at you a certain way. Uh, I have gotten some of those looks from some sales associates when I go into these boutiques but is that going to change the way that I dress? Absolutely not. I am a casual girl through and through. I will wear my Vans with a Chanel with a Chanel bag any day of the week. I don't care because that's what I feel most comfortable in, you know? But as far as uh, as far as a sales associate treating me differently because of the bag, no, not that uh, not that I have noticed or anything like that. But I would love to know your guys' thoughts on this. How do you feel about Chanel? Uh, do you still see yourself buying anything from the fashion house or have you been treated differently because of the handbag that you are using or anything like that? Let us know in the comment section down below. But fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it. Next question from Hi, my name is, I'm not even gonna try to attempt to say the name because I already know I'm going to butcher it. So since it starts with a J, I'm just gonna go with, Hi, my name is J. Have you thought about getting a Senrev? Before we get any further, and so we have a little bit more eye candy, let me insert a couple pictures of some of the styles that you can choose from when it comes to Senrev. I know that it's a brand that came out a couple of years ago and it's become incredibly popular and I am definitely intrigued. I have done a lot more research than ever before and from what I have seen, a lot of people like this brand. They like the quality, the craftsmanship, and the price point that they have is incredible. Not to mention the fact that they have so many versatile designs available. Uh, one thing that most certainly stands out about this brand is the fact that it has a lifetime warranty, which is something that you don't hear of too often you know so I think that's pretty cool and they have uh, I know they have different textures when it comes to their leather I'm really curious to see how it wears as time goes by I have seen some uh, I have seen some blogs that talk about some of the lighter colors that they don't experience any color transfer which I think is incredible as well so um, seeing as how I don't have one within my collection I turn to you if any of you guys do have a Senrev bag let us know which bag it is and if you recommend it or how you find it to wear let us know you know any details that you can because like I said this bag or this brand has become incredibly popular and the more information that's out there the better but um, like I said only time will tell but I am definitely intrigued so fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it next question from Veronica Ramirez how many items have you bought sold and then repurchased and if so why did you rebuy them so many youtubers buy then sell only to repurchase within a couple of months it gives me whiplash um, all right so I can definitely understand where you're coming from and I can't speak for anybody else but I think that there's so many different reasons why someone would want to reintroduce something back into their collection whether it's a handbag a small leather good or anything else you know maybe they fell back in love with it maybe they changed their minds or maybe you know it's something that they will get use out of now than maybe a year ago or two years ago you know what I mean so I feel that there's so many different reasons why someone might go that way and that's totally okay you know because if it were Works out for them now or if it didn't work out for them before you know it's all a matter of personal preference now out of the items that I have bought and sold have I repurchased any I have and those are the Louis Vuitton Pusha accessoires this is actually the only item that I have reintroduced back into my collection since I sold it because for the most part when something doesn't really work out for my lifestyle or when I don't really see myself gravitating towards it I've said it before I kind of give it one last go one less raw and that kind of solidifies whether or not it's something that um, I'm in love with to, to use or something to that effect. 
um, you know, so I decide to kind of appreciate it from afar. But as I said in the beginning, sometimes you fall back in love with the item or sometimes you know that you'll get more use out of it today than you did maybe a year ago or six years ago. But with the Pochette Accessoire, I actually had the trifecta of these about five, six years ago and I always continue to talk about how great they were and the fabulous price point and whatnot. And let's be honest, I just missed them. So fast forward to two or three years later, I decided to reintroduce them and I promised myself that I would never sell them ever again. And so far I have stuck to that. And uh, this is kind of a side note, but uh, like I mentioned earlier, I did have the trifecta and the reason why I decided not to go for the Azor when it was still available is because with the first one that I had, uh, the zipper started to tarnish. It started to turn like a greenish blue and that same tarnish started to kind of bleed onto the fabric of the zipper and I tried cleaning it off as best as I could to no avail uh, so I felt that it started to get a lot more intense so seeing as how I had that uh, experience with the Azor back then I was a little bit nervous I was a little bit apprehensive to add it back into my collection but I still think it is beautiful nonetheless uh, but I just think that these are great but that is the reason why I decided to repurchase them and add them back into my collection but as I was saying sometimes you just fall back in love with an item or sometimes it just makes sense now than it did a year ago or two years ago or 10 years ago. There's so many different reasons why we decide to add items back into our collections, you know, and as long as we know that we love them and as long as we know that it will get used or even if it doesn't get used and you decide to just keep it there as a decorative piece, so be it. You know, it's definitely up to that uh, that person's uh, personal preference. Uh, but I would love to know, what about you? Is there anything that you have bought and sold and then decided to repurchase and what were those items and why did you decide to repurchase them? Let us know in the comment section down below. But fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it. Next question from Lavinia Ponar. Hopefully I said that correctly. For you, do you prefer Gucci wallets or Louis Vuitton wallets? Um, I honestly like them both. I think that Gucci has a better price point, especially when it comes to a leather wallet versus Louis Vuitton, because for the same price that you get a Louis Vuitton canvas wallet, you can get an all leather Gucci wallet. So I did bring out these two so we have a little bit more eye candy. Uh, currently I have one Gucci wallet, which is this guy, the leather card case, and then the Louis Vuitton Josephine wallet. And now in the past, I have have had more Louis Vuitton wallets within my collection. Uh, I've had a total of maybe four or five Gucci wallets and out of the two, out of the two fashion houses, I feel that I had less issues with my Gucci wallets than I did with my Louis Vuitton ones. Of course, that's just my experience. Some of you might have experienced something different, uh, but I think that they're both great. You know, I just feel that Gucci definitely has a friendlier price point when it comes to uh, le their leather goods, you know, and they still have the same great quality. But what about you guys? Do you prefer Louis Vuitton wallets or do you prefer Gucci wallets? Let us know in the comment section down below. But fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it. Next question from Hanny BD. Hopefully I said that correctly. What's your opinion on the new Celine? I know that everyone is being iffy about heading Slaman taking over Celine and stuff, but I've been eyeing up the V controversial Celine C bag for a while now. I'm still a bit apprehensive hearing everybody's negative opinions. Have you ever had a case where so many people were negative on something you wanted, which affected your final choice in the end? Or did you still go for that thing that you wanted? Excellent question. Um, and as far as the, the new styles that Celine has, personally, I'm not too keen on them. I find them to be a little too busy, but if you like it, absolutely go for it. And I'm sure I have some items within my collection that people aren't too fond of. One of those being the Chanel reissue 226. I get a lot of negative comments on this and that's totally fine to each their own, but I don't let that stop me because I've said it in other videos, as long as something works out for you and it works out for your lifestyle, you're going to be the one wearing the item. It's going to be your money that you spend on it, not someone else's or you're not buying it to make someone else happy. So someone's opinion won't, won't determine whether or not I decide to go for a handbag or a smell of a good or anything like that. So if you like the new styles, if you like the new design, then absolutely go for it. Don't let someone's opinion on something or their negative, uh, their negative feedback, you know, kind of influence whether or not you decide to get it. Absolutely not. You know what I mean? So good luck deciding and congratulations on your soon to be Celine bag. But fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it. Next question from Love CC. What do you think about the updated version of the wallet on chain with a magnetic closure and the metal zipper? 
bloopers. Are you going to add one to your collection? Um, all right, so for those of you that don't know, they actually ended up revamping uh, some details of the Chanel Wallet on Chain. Instead of it being a snap button closure, it does have a magnetic closure. And instead of these two zippers having the leather pull tabs, uh, they got rid of the leather pull tab and now it's just a metal tab. And I think it's awesome that they made it a magnetic closure because I feel that it makes it a lot more user friendly than the snap button closure. Um, I've never had any issues with the snap button opening up on its own. And I know some people are a little bit uh, nervous about the magnetic closure because of that. They feel that maybe it'll pop open on its own or something to that effect. Uh, but I do have the Deauville that has the magnetic closure. I feel it's very strong. So I imagine it'll be the same thing when it comes to the wallet on chain. So uh, out of the two, the magnetic closure, the fact that you don't have to sit there and kind of push this down, I think once again makes it a lot more user friendly. And as far as them removing the leather pull tab and making it a metal zip, I think that's great as well because I feel that it makes it a little bit more, um, I think it makes it a little bit more sophisticated instead of necessarily having the, uh, the leather pull tab. Um, another thing that people have also mentioned is that they feel that the metal zipper might end up digging into the quilt or into this bottom part of the walk a lot more. I don't think it will only because when it comes to the leather pull tab, let me bring it up as close as possible. It is a little bit thicker than the uh, than the metal zipper that they uh, that they changed it out with. So this one, even though it is leather, it still leaves an indentation. And I feel because the other one is a lot slimmer, you won't uh, necessarily have that issue. Of course, only time will tell. You know, and the more and more people use it, they'll be able to say, you know what, I have experienced that indentation. It is a lot more intense than with the leather pull tab. But uh, I don't foresee that happening because again, this guy is just a little bit, you know, it ends up protruding a little bit more off of the uh, off of the leather or off of the zipper than the new one does. Um, but I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. And um, I'm very excited to see that they're kind of starting to implement new changes that make these items a lot easier to use and they're not as fussy as something like a snap button closure. I wouldn't change this item out for the world. And as far as adding a uh, another wallet on chain to my collection, I don't think so only because I did have the red one and uh, even though I like the color, I still seem to gravitate towards the black. The black is my choice when it comes to travel and the fact that it's small. This one just ends up checking off all the marks. So as far as myself adding another one, I don't see that happening, but I still think it is an incredible, incredible piece. You know how I feel about it because I can talk about it till the cows come home. So I'm really excited to see those, uh, those new details. I would love to know if any of you guys did end up picking up a new wallet on chain with those to uh, with the with the new magnetic closure and the metal zipper pull uh, and how is it working out for you have you noticed any indentation let us know in the comment section down below but fantastic question and hopefully I was able to answer it and the last question from nail junkie 242 if you had a budget of only 10,000 to buy luxury items for an entire year would you get a Birkin or a Cartier bracelet and a Chanel slash Dior bag um, all right so with the choices that you gave Honestly, I would skip the Cartier bracelet and go for a Chanel and a Dior handbag because that definitely works out the best for my lifestyle. So I kind of tweaked it a little bit. I know, I know, I'm a cheater, all right? I've said this before, I cheat on some of these scenario questions. Uh, but if I could skip everything altogether and still stick to the $10,000 budget, I would end up going for a Rolex. Absolutely, hands down, no questions asked because I definitely want to add a Rolex to uh, to my collection or to my wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Um, that is, I mean, I'm a watch person, so to me, a date just 36 millimeter, I think would be fabulous, absolutely fabulous. So <laughs> once again, I know I cheated because I didn't really stick to the question. I don't, someone asked me why I cheat on these questions. I don't know because I feel like I mean, some things work out for other people, and even if it's something that I, you know, that I appreciate, it doesn't necessarily work out for my lifestyle, so that's why I kind of tweak it just a little bit, but I turn to you. With the, with the options that Nail Junkie gave us, which one would you go for? Or if you were to skip everything altogether and stick to the $10,000 a year budget, what luxury item would you go for? Let us know in the comment section down below. But fantastic question, and hopefully I was able to answer it.
All right, you guys, so that does it for Minx Monday Q&A. I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope I was able to help. You guys had some awesome questions this week. Uh, for this week's lineup, you will see me one other time, but I also turn to you. Uh, what are some uh, video topics that you would like me to discuss or to cover within the next couple of weeks? Let me know your suggestions on the comment section down below. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button down below and hitting that bell so you're notified when I upload videos which is anywhere from two to three times a week, and I'll see you guys later. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.